Hello everybody, welcome to another Story Lab. As you can see, we are going to be doing another active listening. What did you like Story Lab? So when you look at this picture, remember, just like the boy and girl are reading a book about the cat, you need to think about, hmm, what's my favorite part? Because their favorite parts are when the cat chased the ball and when the cat fell asleep. So I'm gonna put this up here. And at the end of our story, you need to think, what did you like best? So this is the story for today. Fancy Nancy Puppy Party. It's based on the creation of John, Jane O'Connor and Robin Priest Glasser. So here we go. Tomorrow is she's birthday. We are having a huge celebration. That's a fancy word for party. All Frenchie's canine, that means dog, friends are coming. Their owners get to come too. Of course, the birthday girl must look extra exquisite for the party, so Frenchie gets a bubble bath. Then my dad tries to clip Frenchie's nails. She's not very fond of getting her nails clipped. Later, I brush her fur until it's gleaming. That's fancy for shiny. I spray her with special doggy perfume called Ear de Woof Woof. Mmm, Frenchie smells so fragrant now. The next morning, we all help bake a bacon chicken carrot layer cake. That's Frenchie's favorite. My favorite is chocolate, but dogs can't digest chocolate. That means if they eat it, they get sick and throw up. The frosting on Frenchie's cake is yogurt, and for candles, we use rawhide strings. Voila! All done. Soon the guests begin to arrive. Frenchie greets each one of them. I'm almost positive she's barking in French. Miss Divine's dog Jewel looks nearly as fancy as Miss Divine. Miss Divine and Jewel even wear matching hair clips. Bree and Freddy bring their dog Rusty. Sam and Scrub, Scamp come too. So does my babysitter Alex and her beagle Buddy. We give all the guests party hats. Scamp tries to eat hers. The party is a sensational success. Frenchie is a wonderful hostess. She lets the other dog share her balls and tongue toys. Soon it's cake time. We all sing happy birthday to Frenchie as mom brings in the cake. Uh-oh. Frenchie can't resist lunging at the cake. Mom drops it and Frenchie lands on top of it. The other dogs jump on the cake too. It's a total pandemonium. That means all the dogs go wild. The birthday girl does not look fancy anymore. She's covered in yogurt and cake. So are all the other dogs. I start to reprimand Frenchie. That's fancy for scold. But then I see that everyone is laughing. I start giggling too. After we wash all the dogs, Frenchie comes over and licks my face. She barks and wags her tail. She's telling me that this was the greatest birthday celebration ever. The end. Okay, well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this story. Such a silly book about a puppy birthday party. I hope you think about what did you like best. Tell somebody at your home your favorite parts. And I will see you tomorrow or see you later. Bye, everybody.